Hey, this is a multi-part series and I have linked part number one in the video description down below. Oh, and if you want to follow along, you go to procurementzen.com slash digital where you can download the resources, chat with fellow students. And by the way, it's completely free. So let's start with video. So now that we know how the user interface looks like and what all these tabs mean, I'm going to show you how you can best tune the user interface to a procurement person's needs. And that's just my best practice. Are you ready? Then let's just jump in. Before we jump in and have a look what the best purpose of the user interface from my point of view is, a short disclaimer. That is my personal view, how I have used Nime in the past and you might find your own view of course so make sure you adjust it to your liking but with that aside let's start so the first thing i usually do is i just enlarge the space for the canvas a little bit but just dragging that gray divider here much to the left i usually also never use the workflow coach so i just click on the little red x here and click close then I put the outline in the bottom left corner of the window. To do that, I just click on the outline and hold the mouse button down and just drag it until it snaps into place like so. Not like so, but like so with this horizontal divider. And then I can adjust this even more. I usually give the node repository and especially the Nime Explorer quite a lot of room here and the node repository maybe even a little bit less because i always use the search the next thing i do is i drag the description once again clicking on that word description to the bottom like so but i don't want it as an extra tab i want it always visible and that can be achieved if you do it like this. So now that we have this vertical divider here, you have to drag it a little bit more to the right to get that. I just let it snap in and I close the Nime Hub. Now I just drag this a little bit further down. So now I can see if I have a note here I want to read about, like this one here. I can now scroll here, I can still read it. I can see the console. I can see the note monitor and I've maxed out my space on the canvas. That's it for this short lesson. And in the next lesson, we're going to build our very first workflow together. So exciting. See you in the next lesson. If you want to go to the first part of this online course, click this video. And here is just another video that shows you some very funny stuff you can do with Nime. Oh, and if you want to download the resources and chat with fellow students, just go here to this page over at procurementzen.com.